Hey guys, for this training module we're going to go over real quick how to add a Twitter feed to your Facebook page. Now I have this test page set up in the new timeline. Right over here where our photos are is where the next Twitter feed is going to be inserted. You're going to go up to your search box on Facebook, type in Twitter, and the tab that comes up that has the T that says app with 10,000 monthly users is the one we're going to get. So click on that. These widgets take a little bit of time to load, so give them a second. We're going to go to Add Twitter. All right, now as you can see, it auto-populates right down here on our menu bar. Click on your Twitter tab. And once this populates in the window, we're just going to have our control panel that comes up. This is because Twitter doesn't have your account information yet. So we're going to go to control panel. Now, I've already set up an HSA account. This is the company that created the application. What you guys are going to do is go to register. And you're just going to fill out all the necessary fields that come up on your screen. This is 100% free. They shouldn't send you a whole lot of junk email. If you'd like to use a dummy account, I would recommend that. And then once you get your information, you're going to get a confirmation email with a password for you. You're just going to go ahead and put that into the next dialog box that comes up on your screen. Once that's all taken care of, you go into your account, type in your email, password, and log in. Then you go and type in your Twitter ID. Click Save. And it'll say updated as soon as it's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this out because we don't need it anymore. I'm going to reload my Facebook home page. Now all these updates should be complete. So we're going to go to our test page number two. On your screen, it'll be your Miranda Homes page. And we're going to go and check to see that our Twitter has loaded properly. Go ahead and click on your Twitter box. Now the reason this takes so long to load is because we're in an administration view right now. This should not take as long for all the customers to view when they're on our page. But this is what will come up in the new timeline. As you can see, all the tweets are displayed. If we scroll down, we have our control panel box that's only in our administration view. And if you click on the control box, it's going to take you back to where we had originally logged in and put all of our information in. you want to change anything you just go over here to account preferences and that's where you're going to do most of your changing pull this up one more time here it'll show up in your twitter applications right here on your home page but it does not mean that that's on your personal profile that you're using. And this is what it's going to look like in the new timeline. If you're wondering what the customer is going to see, they're just not going to see this administration panel up here. It's just going to look like this right here on their screen. Any questions, feel free to email me.